What if I want to try Open Euler? When can I d uh, download it? To download Open Euler, first visit the Open Euler website. Click on Download. Software, and then Packages. Then click on Server Image below Open Euler 22.09. The ISO list will display. Next, select the ISO image file based on your OS architecture. For example, AARCH64. Lastly, select the target Open Euler release package. I have downloaded the desired release package, but uh, how can I install it? Let's take a look at this installation process. We've downloaded the release process, so the installation environment is ready. So we can go directly to step two? Yes. We'll need to select an installation mode first. If only a few devices need to be installed, Use a USB flash drive, CD-ROM, or a virtual CD-ROM drive. But if batch installation is required, uh, you should use the PXE boot mode. Like other operating systems, after selecting the mode, we'll need to configure required parameters, right? Yes, such as the installation language, installation location, software version, host name, and network configuration. OK, got it. Uh, can you show us how this process works? Of course. Uh, I'll use Open Euler 20.03 LTS and the virtual DVD-ROM drive as an example to show you how to install this OS step by step. So uh, on the installation page, you'll want to select an installation option. Okay, I see three options here. So we can directly install the OS, check the software package, and install the system, or view troubleshooting information. Yes, select the option that's best for your situation. Here we've selected test this media and install Open Euler 20.03 LTS. Then, select an installation language. Here we've selected English, uh, United States. After that, set the system installation location and system partitions. We'll need to select the drive where the OS is to be installed and choose how to partition the drive. Any advice on the partitions? You can set the partitions manually, including common partitions, logical volumes, and thin provisioning logical volumes. We'd recommend that you set the following partitions for the Open Euler system start deck. And these are swap, boot, boot slash EFI, and slash. Um, can you provide more information about the partitions? Swap partition is used to swap dirty data in the memory when space is insufficient. If the memory is small, we'd recommend that you set the swap partition size to twice the memory size. And if the memory is large, you can reduce the swap partition size. Uh, slash boot indicates booting. Boot slash EFI refers to the boot device and application program to be started by the extensible firmware interface, otherwise known as EFI. The last one refers to the root partition? Yes. In Linux, everything starts from the root partition. OK, what should we do next? Select the software to be installed, which is um, Open Euler 20.03 LTS supports three software installation options. And those are minimum installation server and hypervisor. 
Yeah, I know the server option means installing software for servers and uh, hypervisor means installing software in virtualization scenarios. But what is minimum installation? Good question. For minimum installation, most software is not installed. This mode is suitable for scholars who have basic knowledge of Linux and want to expand their knowledge of the Linux architecture. Now, we've come to the last step, right? Yep. During the installation, we'll need to set the password of the root user. While you can create common users uh, to suit your needs, the root user is the super administrator of the system and has the highest permissions. Generally speaking, the Linux administrator can't use this user to manage the system. Okay, now we've gone through the entire process of open user download and installation. We are also at the end of the today's live stream. Let's go over what we've learned today. Uh, we've learned the origins of Linux and the key features in Open Euler, and we went through the detailed steps for downloading and installing Open Euler. If you want to know more and engage in community contributions, please visit our GitHub repo. We can't wait to see you in the Open Euler community. In the next episode of Open Euler Tech Day, we'll go into some more details about Open Euler key features and practices. Stay tuned. That's all for today. Till then, see you next time. See you.